Free BSD reviews, tutorials and gaming. FreeOffice 2018 Text Maker. We'll be looking at the Linux and Windows versions. Now here we are. I'm starting up on the Windows version, running uh, via Wine. And as you can see on the screen, there's this little test. We'll open up the file dialog, and that works quite well. Uh, we're just going to go through the menus. Uh, let's pick a shape. There you go, put it down there. I'm just going to show you a little bit how it handles uh, rendering and uh, formatting the text. So uh, if I type nonsense, well then that probably matches what I usually say anyway. So highlight it, change the colour. Uh, yeah, it seems to be all working well. You know, it's quite remarkable how well it works via Wine. Wine has really come a long way in the last few years, uh, up to the point where... Um, quite a lot of Windows programs run very well in it, almost as if it were native versions for FreeBSD. Wonderful really. So yeah, that's working alright. And what we're now looking at, the Linux version. Uh, this is running via the uh, Linuxulator for want of a better word, uh, that runs on FreeBSD, so it's uh, very much like Wine, it's not an emulator, it's uh, an ABI, it's an abstract layer which interprets system calls on Linux into native FreeBSD ones. So, uh, yeah, that's running very well. We'll do the same thing as we did on the other version, we'll look for a shape, in this case it's a heart, and uh, it's all very nice. There's very little difference between the Wine version and the uh, Linux version. So that's cool. That's how good FreeBSD is. We can run both. We can run native, Linux and Windows. Brilliant. Right, LibreOffice 6.0.5.2 Writer. This is a native FreeBSD version. I think most people are actually familiar with LibreOffice. Um, there's not much else to say. It's perhaps the, it's practically the de facto standard for Office applications. Uh, you've got the usual menus as you get on any other. Then we'll have a look at the About. There you go, LibreOffice. Uh, it's perhaps not the most up-to-date one, but that's fine. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I'll just highlight that. That's very good. Yeah, it is what it is. It's LibreOffice. It's a good workhorse office suite, and in this case, the writer is what we're interested in, and that's it's very functional. I'll just uh, yeah, let's get a little slightly bigger. I'll type it out first, and then we'll make it bigger. Oh no, we'll make it bigger, and then we'll type it out. I don't know. There we go. Right, da da da. I'm not the quickest typer in the world, so you have to bear with me. Uh, I don't know whether I should fast forward this when I've actually typed it up because it's going to take that long. And it is. It pretty much is the default one. But it's also available on uh, FreeBSD. So, yeah. So, no. Abbey Word 3.0.2 
This is the native FreeBSD version. Uh, not everybody would have come across Abbey Word at, uh, during their computer usage, but Abbey Word's been around for a while. Um, it's very lightweight. It does seem to have suffered um, a little bit of stagnation recently in the last couple of years. And there is some glitching on the screen for more modern desktops. But apart from that, it's still very usable and cross-platform. And it's very highly recommended on lower-end systems. And it's no longer available for Windows. I would recommend Abbey Word if you're going to install Numeric as two exceedingly light uh, office applications. Absolutely brilliant. Caligra Office 3.1.0 Words. Now, this is the FreeBSD version. Right, Caligra Office is one that I've not used much. Um, it seems to be very relatively lightweight, uh, a bit sparse, a bit spartan, but you know, sometimes that's what you need in a word processor. You don't want to be inundated with too many options. Uh, I'll just make this a bit bigger. There you go. There's a formatting character on the end. Uh, we'll get rid of that possibly. I do that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. This is me just blindly uh, going through the options. Possibly. Let's try this. We get rid of the formatting characters. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's it's a basic word processor. It's probably on par with. Um, I don't know, it's kind of right to Not Abbey Word, but uh, it's a cross between Abbey Word and um, Latex, probably. I don't know. It's not just a word processor, it's like a word, it's um, like a document processor, uh, a layout. Um, it's, hard to, it's hard to quantify, really. But anyway, it's quite a powerful uh, little office uh, application. It's not one that I use. Um, but it's one that was pointed to, you know, pointed at me. So yeah, Kaliga was on Yeah, it, it does take a bit getting used to, but once it's learned, it's a powerful word processor. Just give it a try. You know, nothing to lose by trying it, and you might like it. Open Office 4.2.0, the developer version of Writer. This is a native FreeBSD version. Yep, well, again, uh, OpenOffice was the uh, predecessor, of course, of LibreOffice. They're very much the same. They do share a lot of the same code base and uh, application names. Um, OpenOffice is now at a point where it's still getting developed. Uh, this being 2018, so this is the, one of the latest versions. It's got the same features, one or two differences, but it's developed at a slower pace. A lot of the core developers um, after Oracle of course uh, bought out Sun and then all the shenanigans that ensued afterwards uh, a lot of the developers left OpenOffice and went on to um, LibreOffice which gets updated far quicker but OpenOffice is still there and it's still a very viable um, office suite the writer part, which I'm using now, it's um, me. I mean, me personally, I can't tell it. Well, aesthetics aside, I can't tell the difference really in functionality between this and LibreOffice. I do actually prefer this to LibreOffice. It's got more of a um, uh, oh dear, not retro, but it's got more of an old-fashioned feel about it, which I'm more comfortable with. LibreOffice is, is all very fine, and it's very optimised, and it works brilliantly on the multi-core systems. But I don't know, I kind of got an affinity towards OpenOffice. 
Uh, it's got a little side panel, which I don't know if it's on LibreOffice, but I like this. This opens by default when you first start it up, so it's it's pretty cool. I like the fact that it's, everything's on uh, on hand on the right hand side. Like if you just want to do the shenanigans of changing text, uh, fonts, and colours, it makes displaying things really easy. Got hideous font. Right, yeah. There you go. It's it's not bad. I like Open Office. I used to like Star Office, and when it morphed into Open Office, I liked that then. There you go. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching. Catch you next time.